Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can paint custom layer masks. The reason you'd use this is if you want to show one material under another while still being able to texture them procedurally. You can do this a number of automatic ways, but this way allows you to control specifically where the wear and tear will be. You can see on screen I've modelled this basic object. It's nothing fancy, just some kind of weight hanging from a chain. I've also unwrapped it and set up a basic material with ambient occlusion and a bevel shader. So the red is going to be our paint and we need to set up a metal to display underneath it. To do that we're simply going to select everything except the output node and duplicate it with shift D. On this duplicate material we're going to turn metallic all the way up to 1, take the saturation out of the base colour and make it a bit lighter. Then we're going to drop the roughness down to make it more reflective. To blend between the paint and the metal we're going to add a mix shader Plug them both in and set the factor all the way up to 1 so the paint is showing. If the metal is showing with yours on 1, just swap the nodes around. Now we're going to add in an image texture and this is going to be the mask that we use to reveal the metal underneath the paint layer, but only in the areas where we want it. Click New, give it a name if you want to, change the resolution to 4K and set the colour to white, then plug this into the factor of the mix shader. Lastly, set this to non colour. Next we're going to change over to the Texture Paint workspace and change the viewport display to Material Preview. On the left hand side if you zoom out you'll see the image texture we added. You can paint directly on this or as we'll be doing on the model itself. On the panels on the side you can see the colour picker and if you click this little switcheroo button it will change from white to black. Now anywhere we paint black on the model will reveal the metal underneath the paint. If you press the F key you can adjust the size of your brush and Shift F will control the strength. You'll also see as you paint on the model the lines appear in the corresponding places on your image texture on the left. If you find the brush strokes a bit too even you can go over to the stroke menu and change the spacing. I find 40% works well to give it a slightly stuttering uneven effect. We can also paint with textures and texture masks. If we expand those menus and in the masks section click new, now change over to the texture properties panel and change the drop down to clouds. Go back to the active tool menu and you'll see that it's loaded the clouds into both the texture and the texture mask sections. We don't need it in the texture section so just click the X to remove it. Now when we paint on our model we get the effect of our clouds texture acting as a mask chipping away at the paint. If you switch back to white you can bring the paint layer back in. We can make it look even crisper by changing the window on the left back to a shader editor and add in a colour ramp after the image texture. Now when we crunch the black and white values together the paint becomes more flaky and angular. We can enhance it further still by using the image texture to act as a bump for the paint layer. Add in a bump node and let's run our bevel shader through the normal then connect the image texture up to the height. We now get the effect of the paint sitting on top of the metal and can refine it by tweaking the distance and the strength. When we're happy with the settings we can continue painting edgeware where we like and it will still benefit from everything we've set up so far. Importantly, when we've finished painting edgeware, don't forget to save out your image texture. The great thing about this technique is you still have full control over both the paint and metal materials. I can make the metal brushed steel with the noise texture in the roughness with its scale stretched or change it to rust or add surface scratches to the paint. Once you've finished you can bake everything down into PBR maps and disregard any masks you used. If you found this helpful a subscribe would be appreciated. Thank you for watching and take care.